Hi, I'm Chris Singleton, the Division Manager for the Metro National Network. And I'm John Ferguson, the Operations Manager for the Metro National Network. So we're right now, we're in the uh, historic courthouse located in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, this is where we have one of our three uh, control rooms throughout the city. Uh, this is the room that we do our Metro Council meetings and our Metro uh, Council Committee meetings out of. Right now we are in one of the four Council Committee rooms uh, that are the rooms where the council will meet uh, for all of the different committees that, that, are, uh, that they meet for. And we uh, decided to use the MXA 910 uh, in each one of these rooms, which is the ceiling array mic uh, from Shure. And the reason why we felt this mic was the best fit for um, these, recording these committees and also for this particular uh, room or for these rooms is because of the flexibility uh, of this mic and the customization of the different lobes to point them in the direction of where people are most likely to be sitting. Um, in addition to the ability to utilize the lobes, you also have the ability to um, have the lobes auto adjust with the updated firmware. Um, this, this is a room where people are um, speaking from every inch of the room. Um, people will be speaking from sometimes at the doorway, sometimes uh, sitting at the table, sometimes standing uh, far away from the table. And uh, this particular microphone is a perfect application for, uh, for this room just because of the customization and because of the flexibility of recording. Here we're in the David Scobie Council Chambers at the Historic Courthouse. A few years ago, we were asked to come in and, and kind of revamp this room and update it. So what we ended up doing, we have 40 council people. They're, it's one of the largest councils in, in the U.S. Uh, and, and so we had to get a lot of good quality mics uh, that could handle all the sound. Uh, not only do we do uh, public address in the room, but we also feed our broadcast with it. So what we did was we got 42 Beta 58A handheld mics that we got for the individual council members and for staff to use. Uh, and then we also added uh, five of the MX418 gooseneck mics. Uh, and those are located up at the dais and also used for the public participation. Uh, so this is the uh, MXCW640. We um, have 16 of these units. And we purchased these to go along with a mobile production unit that where we take around to different metro locations and we have a small team of, of, of metro employees that will run this equipment and we got this as a replacement for what we had been doing with to record audio for these particular meetings which is to run XLR cables to each uh, tabletop microphone um, and do it in a more traditional way and what, what we found is that we were losing a lot of time in the setup and it got to be a complicated um, situation where we were having to run it to a mixer. And um, so when then we found these units and in the short time we've had them, it has completely changed uh, our audio workflow. We, it makes it so much easier to set up, so much easier to break down and the ability for these units to amplify the audio of the speaker, it reminds the user to make sure that they are talking into the mic number one and also making sure that the audio, uh, it, it, the unit is, is switched on before they start speaking. So um, it has a practical application for the user to make sure that they are ready to uh, get their audio recorded and get their audio broadcast for us that we don't have to continue to remind them. Uh, which is an added bonus. Um, but these units have uh, completely, uh, I think, changed the way that we do these remote uh, metro meetings uh, in terms of our audio recording. Also, um, because they are completely digital in, in their uh, operation, we have the ability to give uh, admin and, and chair rights to the chairs of these of these particular meetings and allow them to uh, mute unmute um, and and have complete control um, over 
the operation of, of the, the microphones. In addition, we also have one of our staff um, also monitoring, also making sure that the proper channels or the proper microphones are active or, or inactive, depending on what, what the need is. And that gives us an extra layer of, um, of, of comfort to make sure that we are hearing the people that need to be heard and not hearing the people who, who don't need to be heard. And so um, giving us that extra layer of, of control allows us to make sure that we're recording these meetings properly. In addition to the operation, in addition to the quick setup and, and breakdown time, the battery life has been a, uh, a huge um, uh, benefit for us because we do meetings that sometimes take uh, you know six, seven, eight, nine hours um, and to not have to worry about battery life has um, been very, very uh, beneficial for us and has, has, has helped us make sure that we are able to provide um, a great solution, a great audio solution uh, to these otherwise very difficult meetings um, and, and provide them in a way that, that makes all of our customers happy at the end of the day. We've got, gotten numerous compliments on these particular units and um, so that makes us feel good and that makes us want to get more. Here we are in the Peabody room at Lindsley Hall and we uh, are using again the uh, MXA 910 ceiling array uh, microphone to capture audio in a room where they're having uh, discussions around a desk and the benefit of this microphone um, for this room or for this application is, again, the fact that people are going to be speaking from multiple angles or multiple locations in this room. And again, like the committee rooms, people sometimes will be speaking from the uh, outside of the table, from, from anywhere in the room, from uh, the chairs against the wall, the chairs over here by the, the, the door, um, you don't know where anybody's going to be speaking from. And so if we were to use a traditional setup by setting up tabletop microphones, uh, we would be running the risk of, of losing uh, important information that we need to record for this meeting or important uh, talking points that people will be bringing up during the meeting. And so uh, this microphone, again, is a perfect application for this room because it captures the entire room or has the ability to capture the entire room, you could direct all of the lobes to be um, pointed at the table itself. That way you're gonna get a much better sound if you just point the lobes to the table. But we don't do that. We point the lobes uh, so they're able to capture all of the, uh, the chairs against the wall. Um, and even where there aren't any chairs, uh, because people do come in and speak from a standing position and it, very unexpectedly. So we've learned our lesson many times where we've gotten burned, where people will speak off camera, off microphone. And because we are in a, in a situation in a position where we need to capture the entirety of the meeting, we don't have the luxury of, of keeping the microphones pointed to where we expect people to be. We have to be able to adapt and have the microphones the capture zone in, in an area where you know you wouldn't expect people to be and that's what the, one of the benefits uh, of this particular microphone is. So we are here in the Sunny West conference room here at the Howard office building and here we've got uh, uh, an array of the MXC 630 microphones and uh, one of the reasons why these microphones were chosen for this room is because the people who are going to be speaking are in a fixed location. They're going to be sitting down, not moving around, sit, uh, basically sitting and not standing. Um, and so it allows them to pick up their, their voice extremely well uh, with the, I guess, the super cardioid pattern um, and make sure it's amplified in the room. So not only the people on the committees can hear, but also anybody who's sitting in the audience can, can hear as well. The other benefit is the idea that it has the uh, ability for the each each person to mute and unmute 
their channel of audio at their uh, leisure, at you know at when it works for them. So it takes extra pressure off of the chair to be able to uh, mute and unmute their microphone. Also takes pressure off of anybody who is operating the equipment uh, from the recording standpoint to make sure the proper channel is muted. Um, and um, it, it works really well in this application. For more information about products featured here and other Sure conferencing products, go to Sure.com ecosystem. Need a product demo for your team or need to discuss product for your specific application? Contact us at Sure.com contact form.